Hey, welcome to Cabrera Ranch. So, we stopped by Grandma's house, had Thanksgiving dinner, and then drove down here to, yes, Rancho Rio, Wickenburg, Arizona. Now, Rio's got a truck rope in here. We slept the night last night, froze our butts off in the trailer for Arizona. It was cold up in this metal trailer, but we survived the night. Let's go check out the truck Rio's gonna be roping for today. There's gonna be a bunch of teams here. It's kind of early in the morning. They're just starting to pull in, but it's gonna be a big day today. Let's go see how it goes. There it is. There's what everybody's going for today. I'm betting on my man Rio. We spent a couple of mornings slacking on our work this past week and practicing roping. One day it was super windy and nasty. The next day it was nice. But uh, I haven't got on old Big B, spun Rio a bunch of steers. He's roping good, roping right. Looks like a good chance today. Let's go see if my man gets his thing done. Let's go, Rio. NTR, these guys come down from up in Billings, Montana area to put on these events. It's kind of sparse right now, but people are about to be rolling in and filling up this parking lot for a big day of rope and we'll see could be close to a thousand teams okay the final counts in i was pretty close there's just under a thousand teams about 986 teams are going to run today so here goes rio's first run of the day hopefully we can get this thing started off right get her open for that truck terrence and brad please ride in Now, if you make a successful catch in the first arena, you come to the arena number two for your second round run. Here goes Rio. That's two down good right there. This is a forced year average rope, and so you've got to catch this third one to make it to the final go round. Here they come. The header is a little bit late. They got more faster steer than you do a horse. And this doesn't work out. What a bummer. The first two good ones they rope count for nothing if you don't Tracy catch that third one. So. Let's go try again with a different partner. Rio's got several Ryan partners today. This hitter is a young boy, also from Nevada. His name is Styx. He Tracy gets this one rope. Rio looks at him a little bit and cleans up two feet. Here's a header Rio's excited to have. Blaze Aplanop was one of Rio's partners when he won that truck out in New Mexico the other day. And they make a smoking run right here in the first round. Six straight away. Where has the day gone? Look at that. The sun's just going down, just like that. The day of roping is coming to an end, and we haven't quite got the callbacks we're looking for. Smith field the line puts a 12 and 12 with a barrier. Total is at 1898. Well, I'm trying to video. I don't know. I don't know how it's turning out here. Rio makes a catch called a pantyhose, which means the loop went clear up around that cow's flanks, around his guts, but then when it popped back down, one leg got out, so there was a penalty involved, and that messed that run up. Right here, Rio's healing from my friend Tracy, Camden. They get one rope, the clean and pretty right there. Good run, kids. Rio, seven, eight, Tracy Nelson and Homer Coleman. Here goes Camden and Rio for a second steer. Oh, shucks. I don't really know why, but Rio missed that one. Sometimes you miss them, and that was a bummer. So the maximum number of partners you can have is eight. Rio had eight. He spent six of those now and still does not have a good callback. So we're down to the last two partners. Tyan and Nico right in at 9-11. Be 
This is going to be Horner and Hughes here, 7 and 80, 9, 9, 975, 976. Fifteen fifty on two, that's really good, but it's do or die time now. Rio did end up getting a call back with his last partner, but you gotta place a couple of times to win this truck. And this is Rio's last partner. Third steer, getting by this third one sometimes a little tough. These guys got this one nice. Yeah, I came in part of the time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The finals, the short go, we call it. The fourth steer for the people that have been successful on three other steers. Rio does have two chances. They're not the greatest. The top 50 are coming into this final round. Rio's coming in in 34th place and 13th place. That's down in their way, so he's going to have to kind of rope uphill here, but... Anything can happen. It ain't over till it's over. Third will pay 5,600 If you don't know this already, I'll tell you, team ropers are a naturally lazy creature. That guy right there was showing you how to pick your rope up without having to bend over, and that ain't no joke either. Here goes Rio for his 34th callback. Making a sharp little run right here. Good job. Total time, 33.17, and you're currently third. We have... Okay, I gotta watch. This is my buddy Cannon. He's got two pretty decent callbacks, a ninth and eleven. He's heading one, healing one. Here he comes on his head and run. Cracks it right on there. He does an excellent job. Good run, guys. Okay, everybody, the Jared significance Warner of this run, remember Rio's partner on the black horse, Jarrett Warner. Him and Rio are sitting in the top spot. Jarrett got to make a good run right here. He's going to have two top spots. That's probably going to win a truck if you can make that happen. Sticks it on him like always. Oh, one leg on the backside. That's not going to help. He's got two spots, but the they're to to I have the Sixth in the average is going to go to Devin Johnson, Bubba Johnson with a 3087. Fifth in the average is Parker Deal, Garrett Chee with a 3073. 
Fourth in the average is going to go to Jared Warner and Rio Hughes with a 30.54. Third in the average is going to go to Jake Larson and Kerr Perry with a 29.82. Second in the average is going to go to Diver Granados and Heath Hammersham with a 29.33. And winning the average will be Trip Lee and Nico Hawkins with I don't a 2853. I, I just two, got two spots in there. What was it? Like 13th and 4th? Or 3rd? Or 3rd? Maybe I better call him. <laughs> Is this safe? Here's my friend Ryan. These guys have been here all day. <laughs> Anchor Brand Ranch fan right here. Hey, you better put that away. It's awesome, Ramsey. <laughs> That's crazy, huh? Can you believe how that happened? No. Getting all the drugs. I know. Start banning them from <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Ram came down here one time. He'd been just roping everything in practice. He was like on. He was coming to get him one. He got here and went to enter with oh, Chad. I remember that. And they're like, oh, hey, uh, dope. And they get, kicked him out. <laughs> so he asked Ty. Yo, yeah, kicked him out of the rope. So he asked Ty, well, I'm going to be here all day anyway because Rio was roping. And Ty's like, yeah, I'll give you a job for like 12 bucks an hour. Ram worked all day. It was one of these all day roping. Yeah. I don't know what he made, like 120 bucks or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was like, he came down here. He was like, I got it today. <laughs> nope. He worked all day for nothing. Good to see you guys. Good job, Rio. Thank you. Hey, naughty. Well. Uh, I'm gonna take her. What are you What are you doing? I don't. I don't. Know. Oh, great! Yeah. Girl, Nada. Nada. Second one. She's like, okay, I got it done. I want to go to the trailer now. Load of horn wraps. Good morning and welcome to Anchor Brand Ranch. Day three on this little adventure of me and Rio down to Arizona. So, you saw it last night. Things went right. Rio won that new Dooley pickup truck over there. He's headed out this morning to go to Buckeye, Arizona and try and win another truck. 
but it's gonna leave me here in Wickenburg. Plan is for me to possibly walk two and a half miles over to the local truck dealership, do up all the paperwork, and get this, pay the sales tax on that truck he just won, sales tax on a brand new diesel pickup truck. It's gonna break me, or worse. I'll be walking around town trying to get the paperwork done and get a hold of that truck while Rio him down to Buckeye and he's gonna to try to win him another one. See how this goes. How you feeling today? Better today. Feels like More a good day. Now. <laughs> got, got some extra confidence going into the next roping. Nada, she don't care one bit. She just glad to get a little scrap of something for breakfast and go chase down some more steers. There's Badger. Badger got to run a couple steers yesterday and then he got he got parked for a bit. So yeah, that's the game plan today. Get the paperwork done on one truck and get the roping work done on another truck. Okay, I got the call from the dealership over here in Wickenburg. I'm leaving the roping on foot. Rio, he went down to Buckeye to go try and win another truck. So I'm gonna get up here on the highway. It's a two and a half mile walk and I'll go see if I can get enough of the paperwork done to collect that truck and uh, then I won't be on foot. Let's go. There's a look at Rancho Rio Wickenburg from up here on the highway. Headed to town. Hopefully collect a new Ram pickup truck. Got a nice little walking path down here off the asphalt's a little better. Well, come to the end of that trail. Looks like by heading down this dry riverbed, I'm gonna be able to get close to the dealership I'm trying to get to. If I can get down off of this thing without. Oop, I'm gonna get hurt. I'm gonna backtrack just a little bit. Go off back here. There goes nothing. There we go. Well, we got a little trail going right down. Bottom of the river here, this will do. Hope no trolls come out from under that bridge and get me. Hate for them trolls to get me, huh, Reggie Bug? Whew, that deep sand ain't the greatest for walking in. Gonna get me sweating. Yeah, so there's this dry river and looking on the map, I can go down it, pull out to the left. Look at that cow tracks right down there. My old friend, friend Van Dorsey, the old cowboy that used to live with us. He told me he's lived in mansions and under bridges. And really it's all the same. I see what he means. This might not be a bad spot until you get a big thunderstorm up the country and flood this out. Other than that, looks like a cozy camping spot. Merry Christmas. So my choices right now are to climb up out and walk through town or try traveling down the Hyacinthia River here. Yes, this is the river of sand. And then hopefully be able to pull out to the left and climb up out of here and get up to the Jones Ford truck dealership we shall see okay on the map it looked like this river runs right down 
and then you could turn left up out of this dry river and get to that dealership. But I'm starting to see something that's got me a little bit worried. Come right over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as I'm going down this dry river, I'm kind of looking through the trees right here off to the left. And, uh, what I could see is, first of all, a really nice steel fence over in here. Got a lot of cat claw bushes. That's what's getting me right now. And a really, really nice horse property, some pasture and stuff over inside of here. I'm wondering if I try to pull out of here and cross through somebody's horse pasture, I'm liable to get shot, which I'm not real interested in. So I'm hoping somewhere down below here, it opens up to where I can get up on that road again without having to go trespassing right through somebody's darn yard. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to walk back up that sandy river. Hopefully this works out. All right, I broke a sweat, had to get my jacket off. And ladies and gentlemen, through the corner of my left eye, I spotted something. I wanna see if you can see what I spotted right up here. Oh, and look at those cockle burrs. I'm gonna be all covered in these things by the time I get up in here to this truck dealership. But, good news, this shortcut's gonna work after all that. right down below where I need to be. I'm actually ahead of schedule. Man said he was gonna meet me here at nine or 9.30. It's like quarter to nine right now. So I'm probably gonna have to hang out down here in the bushes. Try not to get shot by anybody or kidnapped or worse. Pretty cool hideout. And I'm not the first one that's been here either. Hopefully I'm the only one here this morning though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look here. Here's the barbed wire fence that's already been destroyed. Climb up that embankment and I'm right in the parking lot of Jones Ford, Wickenburg, Arizona. <sighs> Got some cacti right there. I wonder if I can work my way by that. All right, here goes the last hurdle. Ladies and gentlemen, wanna be team ropers? Wanna be team roping champions? You wanna come to Arizona and win yourself a big bad diesel pickup truck? You gotta be all in. This is what you gotta do, let's go. did his part oh well, we got to do ours I'm a little bit worried it looks like we might be popping up in a fenced off back lot of the dealership probably still gonna get shot got a cactus garden away here everything here's got thorns see that everything here's got thorns Okay, sure as heck, that's a fenced off back lot back behind the dealership. If I pop out up in there, it's gonna be problems. I'm gonna try going down the river a little farther and come out up on the highway and then walk in like a normal person. Ugh. 
yeah, if I come climbing in through the fenced in back lot, that ain't gonna look so good. Let's go try a different route. Back down into the river bottom we go. Ah. Over the fence, back through the woods, back out into the river. We'll go a little further down and try to come up out. Hopefully maybe just like on the highway or something. All right, found my first treasure of this here adventure. Let's see what we got here. I kind of have a suspicion, but we'll see. Yep. What was someone's Milwaukee tools and got stolen. Somebody emptied out the box, so. No good on finding treasure. I've been striking out in the treasure department lately. And it was broken anyway. Somebody stole a broken Milwaukee. Or maybe somebody wrote broken on their tool hoping no one would steal it. I don't know which. Okay, I can see kind of another little trail up out of here. We're gonna try this. See if it puts us up on top in a safe, civilized place. I don't know about this one either. All right, got through the fence, covered in bushes and junk. I think I've found a safe way out of here. Let's check it out. We'll go kind of slow, watch for any guns. Got some sheds for sale. Don't look too bad. All right, we're coming out into civilization here. Just in time. There it is, look at that. Jones, the only pressure you'll find here is inside our tires. There's some more team ropers. Honk, honk, going to go win. Jones, we beat Phoenix prices. I'm glad I didn't have to walk to Phoenix down that river. What do you know? Check this out. Look up here. More team ropers. Howdy. So, the truck Rio won last night over at the roping. It's parked all dusty and dirty right here on the side of the road. This is the walk of victory right here. Now, still gotta pay those sales taxes. Ouch, that's a little bit a question mark still. And get all the paperwork done without mama and my secretary to help me. But at least we're here. That was the first hurdle. Didn't get caught, trafficked, murdered, arrested for trespassing. None of the above. <coughs> There it is. This is what we hiked down that riverbed for. This is what we climbed through the cactus and the cat claw for. You want one bad enough, you'll see that sucker hooked to a trailer at Anchor Brand Ranch. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it.
All right, let's go see if we can get some paperwork done here. I'm a Utah resident that lives in Nevada. Is that legal? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, I'm a mess. We, uh, we don't really, none of that makes any okay, difference good. on our end because we collect the sales tax once that's done and Arizona doesn't care. Okay. So you can register it wherever you want. What we'll do today is we'll do a 90-day permit for you. Okay. And then uh, what will happen is once they process it all, they'll mail you a title. And then from there you can register wherever you want. Okay. Now you'll have proof that your sales tax is paid for the paperwork that we're going to give you today. Uh -huh. So they'll give you credit for that in Nevada. Okay. You may have a little bit higher sales tax there, possibly. Uh, I'm not sure. But there are certain states where we just collect Arizona tax, and then you, when you go register, you show them your purchase order, and it shows you paid the taxes, uh, and they'll okay. give you credit. For Got it. It. States that don't do that, then we don't collect tax, and we do whatever. So. Arizona's kind of picky about that. Where do you guys live in Nevada? Ranch in the middle of absolute nowhere. They're going to clean it up real quick and then I'll run up and fill it up with fuel for you. All right. Well, got it done. Keys are right there. We're headed out in this thing, if it'll start. Thanks to the good people at Jones Ford in Wickenburg, Arizona. Uh, Mr. Chuck took good care of me. He went, remember there was dust all over this earlier? He went and washed it off and filled it up with fuel. So thank you, Mr. Chuck. We're gonna head out of here. For everyone's attention, yeah. All right, earlier today, we were walking up this dry river. Now, riding by in a new Ram pickup truck. That's how life goes right there. There we are. Back to the Rancho Rio team roping arena. Broke a sweat walking down there. Barely got this thing up to speed driving back. Now the plan is this. Leave this truck sitting here. Take the truck and trailer, head down to Buckeye, watch Rio rope.
You've been a good boy, Badger. You ready to load up and go to Phoenix? Okay, we've got things squared away in Wickenburg. Rio has any- In one mile, yeah. keep left onto Vulture Line Road. Buckeye. I'm taking kind of the back road to get down to Buckeye. Kind of like walking down the river to get to the Ford dealership. I just soon stay in the countryside. Check out all the cool looking saguaro cactuses out here. Keep left onto Vulture Line Road. In about seven miles, turn left onto North Wickenburg Road. Josh, you can ride in. Clean but a barrier, they're gonna be 1288. Samuel and Josh ride in 169. 898 turn away, 898. Daryl and Jace ride in. The new new truck you had to drive the old new truck yeah i'm just the helper <laughs> but i did a good job of what i did yeah you did you're good <laughs> luck <laughs> uh, glad let's go you i bet i'm glad you're home i know i want to look at the truck <laughs> Well, that little adventure's over. We're glad to be back at the ranch. And we would like to thank everybody that was good to us on this trip. People fed us. Friends helped haul Rio down to the other roping. We got to meet all kinds of Anchor Brand Ranch fans down in Arizona. It was fun to meet all you guys. It was a great weekend, and we thank everybody.